In today's episode, you'll learn how to use podcast SEO to get more listeners. Welcome to Podcasting Q&A, where you learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your show. Now, when it comes to marketing, one of the most intriguing and most exciting opportunities for podcasters is search engine optimization, where in a nutshell, you do some work up front to make your show more findable by people that want to listen to it. And then apps like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts will show it to people when they search for certain terms. There are some basic things that you can do to make your show more findable by the people that are looking for it. And to walk through those podcast SEO techniques, we've invited Crystal Profit from the Profit Podcast to break down SEO, what it looks like for podcasters, and the things that you should focus on to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to growing your audience. There is a difference between podcast SEO and regular SEO. Because what usually happens is whenever Google is indexing the information that you put out on the internet, that's going to look slightly different than whenever you're putting your podcast information into your podcast hosting provider, much like Buzzsprout, right? So you have your title, your episode descriptions, you have all these meta tags, and you have different ways that you can put your information for individual episodes out there. So you wanna make sure that you're maximizing all of these places with keywords. So let's dive into this. What is a keyword? Well, if you're thinking about podcasting, you're probably thinking about words like podcast equipment, podcast microphone. Maybe you're talking about launching a podcast. Maybe you're talking about marketing a podcast, social media for a podcast. All of these words are related to podcasting. So if you're just getting started with search engine optimization and you're like, I have no idea where to really begin, I would challenge you, encourage you to find 10 to 20 keywords that are related to the podcast topic, either the podcast you already have or a show that you're thinking about creating. And let's pretend that you're gonna have a fitness podcast. What are some words that you would use either in your titles, your episodes to describe your podcast? Are you fitness podcast for women, women of a certain age? Maybe you are for new moms, you have prenatal. You wanna start thinking about keywords that are related to your podcast topic because whenever you go to title your individual episodes or maybe even your podcast, you want to have some of these words sprinkled in there so when a new listener finds your show, right? Because that's the whole goal here. We want to get your show in front of as many people as possible. You want someone to say, oh, this podcast was created for me because you are specific with your keywords and they can identify immediately that this show was created for them. And to give you a little bit of a head start, if you're like, I'm totally blanking on which keywords that I should use for my podcast, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite tool that I've used for a few years now, and that's Keywords Everywhere. It's an extension that I've added to my Chrome browser, and I can actually use this on different sites like Google, Amazon, and YouTube. And what I will do is I'll think of a topic and say, man, that would be a really awesome episode to have on my podcast, but I don't really know what to call it or if this is even something that people are interested in hearing about. I can simply go into Google and literally type the words that I'm thinking about using. These are my keywords. And Google will spit back out to me the results that people are searching for this topic every single month. And not to get too technical on you here, but I do wanna recommend that if that specific keyword has zero, like no one is searching for it in a month's time, then I would recommend going a little bit deeper, a little bit further and seeing if you can elaborate or maybe you need to be more specific on what this specific keyword is. 
But I wanted to give you a quick word of caution if you are brand new to SEO and keywords. You can overdo it. So you wanna make sure that you're not just trying to cram as many keywords as you can into one podcast episode, whether it's the title or the description or even the way that you talk about it. You wanna keep things as natural as possible. So if you go back and read your title or your description and you're kind of like, this sounds like a robot or this sounds like a very awkward way of someone explaining something to you, then it's likely that you have one too many keywords. So make sure that you keep it as natural as possible whenever you're putting keywords and SEO into your podcast strategy. Well, we hope that now podcast SEO has been demystified a little bit and you feel like you have the tools that you need to go out there and implement it as a growth strategy for your show. Now, if you want to continue learning even more marketing and promotion techniques for podcasters, we have an entire playlist here on our YouTube channel. You can click the link in the show notes or just pop over to this image right here on the screen and you can watch social media marketing techniques, how to use guest interviews to grow your show and much more. So if you're interested in learning even more ways that you can grow your audience, make sure you check out that playlist next. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep podcasting.